born in Africa, growing in Africa, God says he can let love, we are no different, we are all the same, one mind, one heart, one voice. Bless Africa. How long will our children cry? How long will our children die? Is anybody there? Does anybody care? I believe. They bought Christians in the United States of America. And they, they uh, got them to develop a way of looking at God's word so that God does not say these evils are evil any longer. And Christians have agreed to accept that twisting of God's word because those Christians now have wonderful roads. They've got more water than they know what to do with. They've got wonderful hospitals. The only thing they do is kill their babies. That's what Satan has done in the United States. America. And they're coming to you era here. I'm here. I'm here to, to tell you there is a way God can stop it. And that way does not mean you have to give up. You don't have to give up the idea that, that there are resources that can be made available to you. You got to pray to God that he will cause American Christians to repent. God's word says that when we are born again we receive a new heart a new mind and a fervent love for one another a love that moves us to bear one another's burdens God wants American Christians to love you. But first he has to move American Christians to repent of 
killing their own children. Of allowing homosexuals to walk around as if they're not outlaws. Now here's why I'm come to talk to you. God can use you and your refusal to give in for that money to prick the hearts of American Christians and cause them to repent. Yes, but first you've got to refuse to be bought yes next thing that the love could be no kugana you got to refuse to no kugana okukuliwa okukirizibwa ebintu ebyokujja mu makaga mu mugeri yamwe olobu sente obutono bill gates all of the, the monies that are being offered, they're all t strings tied to them. And you've got to watch your leadership. Because they can make decisions and then take responsibility to convince you to go along with the decisions they've made. And that's what happened to Christians in the United States. For forty years, for forty years. For 40 years, Christians have stood by as every day that passed. <laughs> 4,000 unborn babies were legally murdered in the United <inaudible> States. And their hearts have been their hearts have been frozen. And they don't even care anymore. But they pretend to love one another. Like the Christians in the old South in the United States of America who had taken your people into slavery. That's the kind of double-minded love that has nothing to do with my Lord Jesus Christ. My Lord Jesus Christ is no respecter of persons. He loves us all. The and the fact that you have needs should prick the hearts of Christians who have resources. So I'm going to go back with the, the video that we're making. I'm going to go back America. And I'm going to show the American Christians I'm going to show them the love of God that God has given you. And I'm going to tell them that you're not going to give in to Satan. That you're not going to be bought. And you will be the light to the nations. You, you, you.
So you might not have good roads. We might have lousy water. But you will have the power of God. Power of God. And you will teach us all what it means to love our neighbor. God bless you. Come on. Lord, pour out your power. We can't do it without you. Oh, Fill us with your spirit. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Born in a Africa. Growing in Africa. God says he can let love. We are no different. We are all the same. One mind, one heart, one boy. When they peace and tranquility. Oh Lord, bless Africa. How long will our children cry? How long will our children die? Is there anybody there? Does anybody care?